today I am going to show you how to make a really delicious and gourmet side dish with sweet potatoes and bacon and blue cheese. And this is a really easy, fast side dish that will for sure impress. So we will just go ahead and jump right in. I have um, a baking sheet and five smallish sweet potatoes. Um, you want them in a single layer on the baking sheet, so I don't know if we'll use all five. We'll just see. We'll just see how it goes. So I have some olive oil cooking spray to keep them from sticking, and so basically you're just going to cut the ends off of the sweet potatoes and then cut them in slices, not too thick, not too thin, somewhere in the middle. Okay, and then. Just line them up. You want to fit as many as you can, so keep them tight. The oven is preheated to 400 degrees. And, you know, oftentimes you have sweet potatoes and you don't know what to do with them, right? It's like you can bake them, you can mash them. This recipe is so good. Been making it for years. And I mean, anything with bacon is delicious. I don't eat pork, so I'm using turkey bacon. And um, I've already cooked up four pieces. So you can do that first. So first, cook your bacon as crispy as you like it. We're gonna cut it into uh, small pieces after. And um, then go ahead and get your sweet potatoes all sliced. So I'll go ahead and get the rest of these done and be right back. All right, so all five sweet potatoes fit nicely in this pan. And so next, we're just gonna drizzle some olive oil all over the top. And sweet potatoes are extremely healthy, loaded with vitamins, beta carotene, Okay, a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna to try to evenly sprinkle this over the top. And we're gonna flip them over halfway through baking. And some black pepper, Just sprinkle a light coating on top. Maybe a quarter to a half of a teaspoon. I have Weber roasted garlic and herb, one of my favorites. So about a teaspoon, I'm gonna try to measure it out here. Okay. Sprinkle a little more extra flavor. Okay, and a little bit of a shake. All right, so these are gonna go in a 400 degree oven. Um, I'm gonna put them in for about 15 minutes, see how they look, possibly flip them if they're golden and we will just keep the progress charted. While the potatoes are in the oven, you can go ahead and make the topping that's gonna go on top after they're baked. I have chopped pecans. They come chopped, if that's how you wanna buy them. Um, I'm gonna put one third, third of a cup of the pecans, and if you want them even smaller than this, you can chop them smaller or um, chop them in a food processor. So four pieces of bacon cooked, and I went ahead and chopped it, and pieces like this, some bigger, some smaller. That's for sure the secret ingredient right there because bacon makes everything better. Blue cheese. Um, if you don't like it, leave it out or use a different cheese. I think blue cheese is something you either love or you hate. I like it and it's delicious in this recipe. A fourth a cup of blue cheese goes in. Okay, and then I'm gonna drizzle in about a tablespoon of balsamic glaze. Yum. All right, and just mix the topping ingredients together. And when those potatoes are all done, you just sprinkle this over the top, delicious. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes. I took them out and they look golden on the other side. So go ahead and give them a flip 
and we'll pop them in for another 15 minutes and they should be crispy by then. All right, 15 minutes on both sides was perfect. They look great. So um, I'm just going to plate some of these. Okay, so I put like half on the plate, so I'll take about half of the topping and put it over the top. Spread it around evenly. Yum. I added a little extra blue cheese to this. Um, a fourth of a cup I don't think is enough, so go with a third of a cup on that. And then we're just gonna finish it off with a light coating of the balsamic glaze. So over half of that, I would say that's about a teaspoon or two of the balsamic glaze. And look at that. I mean, it's looking super tasty. And like I said, gourmet, right? Like a fancy restaurant might serve it. So go out and make it. And remember that all my recipes are down below. And I thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Share this video with your friends and have a super duper fantastic day.